Okay, what I've got here is the poor man's TIG pedal. Um, so far it's cost me six dollars. Everything else I've just pulled out of parts. I've just got um, a little 1k pot in there. And that spring there pulls the string a couple times around it. And which moves the pot. Got little springs in the back there. An old door hinge. Just a bit of aluminium. It's an old sign. A bit of timber, a couple of feet. Yeah, just a little little pot. Now I got sick of scratch starting. Now I got this little it's just a little two hundred amp um uh, stick welder which I've been using to scratch start TIG. I just got my own um, TIG handle wherever it is. Up there, I'll get to that anyway. There's a little gas valve for my own Alargon bottle in the back there. But what I've done, I've added this little three pin female. Now that, that's just tapping into the, the pot on the actual machine here. So I can vary it with the foot pedal. And I've also put a switch in here. Now this switch, when you turn it off, turns this pot off. When you turn it on, you can get more more feel, I suppose. And you can max max your amps to about, well, to whatever, this goes to 200. So you can max it to, say, 100, and then from there to the pedal. If, I, if you leave it off, everything goes to the pedal, which is what I like, control in that way. Yeah, so that's just tapped into the pot in the machine. Now I've been trying all different ways to try and get high, uh, high frequency pulse stuff. And you can't, it's, I don't know, it's probably just me. But I got this little unit off eBay, it's just a little high voltage transformer, $4 from China. Um, where's my battery there? It's just a, one of those. 18650s and let's see where it is what landed. There we go. Yeah, I made my own little little connections for the battery. Positive negative. Don't mind the tape, that's just there to keep the wiring there for now. But that gives me a pulse. Where's that arc across? Oh, I'm back of the plug there. Hmm. I'll have to fix that. But that gives me a pulse to um to this lead. And that'll just go onto the earth clamp of the welder. So you know, imagine that's the bench and you know, but the other earth clamp to your job. This is just another earth because you can't put it directly on the earth on the machine because this is an output voltage there and it just seems to cancel this, the, the frequency out. And then I've got the other side of it which goes to the TIG handle. This phone is continually trying to focus, it's not doing really well. Okay, so that'll, that'll just plug into there. We can get it in there. I'll put the phone down for a sec. Okay, so that's plugged into there. And behind here, like just you know, the electrode that's connected all the way through, I've got another spark gap in here. So it's sparking from this to that electrode and then from there to the job. I haven't got anything touching because the little machine just doesn't like it for some reason. I don't know why. 
So this way, let me just check the spark here again. Okay, so that's an anti somewhere else. Anyway, let's try it on here. Try it on the job. Yeah. So I'm getting a spark, which is what I want. And I've tested it already on, on the little machine and it works fine. But yeah, don't connect your high voltage to your TIG torch directly, like your positive, or your, actually this will be yeah, this is your negative, and your positive on the earth, because the output voltage coming from the, from the, the like the, the, the welder, just cancels the high voltage when you, when you, when you trip it. So, I'll get this away from my leg, I don't get shocked. So yeah, so when you push it, you can, so that's full noise, and then, boop, you get your high voltage arc, start up, and then you can back up, and then, and then vary the amperage as you go. I've yet to put in a micro switch in to actually shut the voltage off completely, but at the moment I just, you know, strike off really quick, and, um, Keep the argon on the on that spot just for a few seconds, and then turn turn the actual gas valve off. Yeah, so that's good. I'm getting a decent little little arc across. So wherever the job is on the foot pedal, makes a champ. And yet. Battery was like, I don't know, you can buy four for four bucks. Springs I got for like 90 cents. Yeah, that was four dollars. That, 50 cents. That, the pot was three dollars. I had all this lead lying around, old plug lying around, a bit of timber. And that's pretty much it.